Namaskar, this is Dr. Hema Devakar, a consultant OBGYN and past president of POPSI, speaking to you from the city of Bengaluru. I have been asked to deliberate reflecting on our fairly recently published study on non-inferiority of 500 milligram of ferric carboxymaltose compared to the 1000 milligram of the ferric carboxymaltose. Why did this thought come to us? to compare the 500 versus 1000 and of what use it is to document and what do our results speak about. So coming to any new molecule that is safe and effective in low middle income countries as in India, the cost and the ease of administration also becomes very, very crucial. So if you can use 500, and achieve nearly the same impact as having used 1,000, then you can actually treat double the number of women at half the cost. So that was the concept and hypothesis with which we started. Is 500 mg good enough? This study revealed that giving a 500 mg in the inclusion criteria of A to 9.5, grams of percent of hemoglobin. The dose of 500 escalated the hemoglobin by 3.2% compared to the dose of 1000 milligram, which increased the hemoglobin value from the basic to 3.6 gram percent. So 3.2 versus 3.6. That is the documented rise of hemoglobin you will see if the patient belongs to 500 or 1000 uh, milligrams of FCM injection. Of course, the inherent advantage of FCM that it is a single dose and patient need not make multiple visits. That is straight away a given advantage. It is safe, that is also proved beyond efficacy. How could 1000 not score better than 500? When you ask that question, yes, in a research mode, when you not only do the hemoglobin, but also do the transfer in ferritin, et cetera. Of course, the storage in the form of ferritin is far greater when you administer a thousand milligram. In the Indian context, for example, a patient comes in the seventh or eighth month of pregnancy. There is very little time for delivery, 7.5, 8, 8.5 gram percent, and she cannot afford the thousand milligram. Is it okay to give the 500? That was the key for our thought process. And when we give her 500, if she's eight gram percent, for example, she scales up to nine, 10, 11, 11.2 by the time she delivers. And that is good enough to save lives and have the absolute advantage for the newborn as well. If the affordability is not in the question, of course you can give thousand milligram but please do not refrain from giving 500 because it has its advantages. Even if this dose is given postpartum, uh, for example, even then it holds a huge advantage to the patient who is postpartum and breastfeeding. So then this paper published in the Innovations Journal spoke about the non-inferiority of the efficacy of 500 versus 1000 in terms of increase in hemoglobin. Of course, ideal is not always possible in countries like India. So go for the best that you can do. I do hope that this thought process is taken in the right perspective. And until we make universal healthcare accessible and affordable, these kind of rethinking and innovative methodologies will be here to stay. Namaskar. Thank you very much.